We are now looking at the cell in human body. So there are various types of cell in multicellular organism in human. So human cells are very different in size, shape, and also arrangement. The structure of the cell very much have relationship to the function. And each type of cell is specialized to carry out a specific function in our body. Muscle cell is arranged as a multinuclear striated fibers, and it contract and relax to generate movement. So when we want to move, when we play basketball, all this involve contract and re, uh, relax of the muscle cell. So what it means by the word multinuclear, it means more than one nucleus. I repeat, uh, the word multinuclear, it means more than one nucleus. All right, as we can see here, the word straighted, it means arranged closely, line by line. All right, can you all see this is a muscle cell? And inside the muscle cell, we have this very dense area, the dark area, which is the nucleus. So it's arranged as multinuclear and then straighted fibers. So we can see the closely arranged line by line, or one layer, one layer, one layer on top of each other like that. Okay, this is a nerve cell. So nerve cell can be found in whole parts in, of our body, which is the most in our brain. So it is long and thin in shape, and it is important for sending nerve impulses then it will be white blood cell. So white blood cell can change shape and then the function is to destroy pathogens which play a huge part in our body immune system. So what it means by pathogen? Pathogen is a microorganism which is harmful to our human body. All right, next will be red blood cell. Red blood cell is a part of component in our blood. Red blood cell has no nucleus and having a biconcave this shape. So the word biconcave shape, it means like a donut. So this is what it means by biconcave this shape. So the function of white blood, uh, red blood cell is to optimize the transport of oxygen. So sperm cell has a long tail, which enables it to swim towards the ovum in the fallopian tube. So the word ovum means egg, uh, means egg cell that produced by female. And fallopian tube is a part of female reproductive system. So the sperm cell need to have a tail to swim, swim, swim to fertilize the egg. So this is a head of sperm cell. It's the part where it carry the chromosome or genetic from the male. So all the information from the male or from the boys lah, will carry at the head of a sperm cell. Lastly, it will be the epithelial cell. It's thin and flat, just like the figure. And the cell helps to coat the surface of organ like the digestive tract.